you guys. So I feel like it's been forever since I did one of these sit down makeup routines and this is what I like started my channel off by doing. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I do my everyday makeup routine. I get a lot of questions on my videos as far as what products I use to do my eyeshadow and how I do my eyeshadow so this is the video for you if you've ever been wondering that. And I also get questions as far as like how I do my makeup in college, if I wear makeup to class, what kind of skincare items I use. So I'm just going to kind of combine that all into this video. Now I personally am not a big fan of splurging a lot of money on high-end makeup products just because I found that you can find tons of dupes in the drugstore. However, the one thing I am actually willing to kind of invest a little more money into is my skincare. In fact, lately I haven't really found the need to wear a whole lot of face makeup just because I've completely revamped my skincare routine and it has done wonders for my skin. And this video is also a collab with my good friend Brooke Michio, so if you have not already checked out her channel, then don't forget to. I will have the link to her Get Ready With Me in the description, and if you came here from her channel then hi welcome my name is Adrian. I will also have all the products I use linked below for your convenience and if you have any questions about anything I mentioned in this video then feel free to comment below, tweet me, Instagram DM me and I will totally get back to you. But yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just go ahead and get started. Take away your things and go Alright, so I will preach this till the day I die, but hands down, the most important step of my makeup routine is skincare. Never forget to take off your makeup at night and always remember to moisturize before any product goes onto your face. And so I personally am a huge fan of the retexturizing mask and skin essence lotion from Origins. So if I'm showering in the morning, I'll usually apply the face mask and let that sit on my skin while I like shave and condition my hair. Obviously, in this video, I wasn't showering, but I just wanted to show you guys how I apply it. And not only does this always do a great job at waking me up, but it ensures that there is going to be no leftover makeup or dead skin sitting on my face when it comes time to apply my makeup. So I'll usually use that mask about two to three times a week. However, every day I make sure to use my essence lotion just by patting it onto my skin with either clean hands or a cotton pad after the mask. I don't know about you guys, but when I wake up, I just have really dull, kind of gray skin. And so the key ingredient in this, which is the Canadian Willow Herb, gives my skin more of a smooth glow as well as does a great job at minimizing all its pores. So I would highly recommend you get your hands on these products and they can be purchased from the Origin store, origins.com, as well as Sephora. While some people use foundation to cover up imperfections like pimples or freckles, I mainly just use it to achieve a more even skin tone. So as you can see, I just use a brush to get the product onto my face and then using a flat top brush, I just blend it all in. I have this really bad habit of resting my head onto my chin and because of that, I'll sometimes break out around that area. So I'm being sure to avoid heavy makeup on my chin just so that my breakouts will quickly heal. Okay, so for years now, I've been using this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and for me, this beats any high-end powder out there just because of how light it feels on my face, and you also can't beat a $3 face powder. And then I just use a small flat top brush for my blush, and since I don't contour or highlight my face, I am not afraid to use a good amount of blush just because it makes me look so much more awake and adds some shape to my face as well. As with all the other products shown so far, eyeshadow is something that I'll often switch up the brand that I use, but I'll always stick with the same three colors, which are just all variations of beiges and browns. For the simple and quick eye look I do every day, I just start with a light color on the lid, and then using a blending brush, I work a shimmery brown into my lid. And then adding a light color into the inner corner will instantly make your eyes pop. So if there was one thing from my makeup bag that I could never give up, it would probably be my eyebrow pencil. And then I find that liquid eyeliner stays on much longer than pencil or gel, so I just apply a thin coat of that. And then to finish off this natural look, I do a couple coats of volume maximizing mascara. About us right now, girl, where you going? It's about us right now, girl, where you going? I'm with you. So yeah, 
that is literally all it takes for me to put my face on in the morning. It's really simple. I'm not a fan of spending a ton of time on my makeup. In fact, I could probably get this whole routine done in a good five minutes if I was in a rush. As I mentioned, this video was a collab with my good friend Brooke XSBD, so please check out her video in the description below. And if you found my channel through Brooke's video, then hello, welcome. My name is Adrian. I am 19 years old. I'm a rising sophomore in college, and I do videos basically based around like health, lifestyle, DIY, that kind of stuff. Alright, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you all so much, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye! Bye.